Come on in. Don't mind the smell. Marshal, how's business? Booming. You and Johnny take care of that thing with Aldridge? He's dead, if that's what you're asking. Prick deserved to be flayed alive. You know, I can forgive just about anything, but you don't turn your back on the Stars and Stripes. Anyway, how'd you like to enter the ever-expanding field of bounty hunting? What? Like tracking down bail jumpers? Yeah, bail jumpers, weirdos, assholes, you name it. Just bring them back here alive. Hell, you can even use my old friend the B-128. It's a compact dart pistol. Knocks them out cold. Then I bring them back here, I imagine. Yeah, trunk usually works best. Last thing you want is your upholstery getting ruined. Your first target is Ray Duplass. Got picked up for running around with his pecker out. Sounds like a charmer. Yeah, kid's a little mixed up is all. Says his nudity is a political act against the war. That earned him a beating from some boys in the New Bordeaux PD. A lot of them served, or they've got sons who were serving, so they take that shit personal. If Ray's got a warrant out on him, cops might not feel like bringing him in easy. Bingo. Ray's been waving his cock at some of the anti-war protests in the French Ward, South Downs, and Downtown. All right. I'll head down to one of the protests, see if I can scoop him up before the cops do. And Duplass is slippery. Literally, it's called hyperhidrosis. I'm in the bayou and I need transportation. Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get her out here. A car here for you. That's a big help. And go easy waving that dart pistol around in public, will you? Yeah, I imagine any cop sees me with his lab or think it's the real thing. Bingo bongo. Here. No sign of the glass. Yet. It's only a matter of time before he exposes himself. In retrospect, I probably should have given you gloves. <laughs> See, you got Ray squared away. You gonna be all right? Well, Ray's gonna go into the system. But every court date, I'll be there, too. For him. You getting soft on me, Marshal? <laughs> well, time does us all in. Next up, a scam artist by the name of Kurt Mancini. Has this oily scheme that's got him in the Dixie Mafia's crosshairs. Poor Kurt. 
Yeah, well, don't lose any tears for this creep. He refined his cons working little old widows around town. Should leave his ass to the cops, then. Uh, you could. But where's the payday in that, huh? Last I heard, he was shacking up in some shithole. I'll check there first. Mancini's a con man and a jerk-off. So try not to kill his ass when you meet him. Marshal, I'm at Kurt's place. Somebody beat me here. Did you find a body? Not yet. I'm hoping if this guy's as slippery as you say, he's a step ahead of the Dixie Mafia. I'll look around the room, see if I can get back on his trail. Hey, Marshal, has Kurt seen anyone? Well, Lincoln, I didn't know he was your type. Too skinny. Man needs something to hold on to. I found a lease. French War Department under the name Terra Unger. I bet our Dixie friends found that lease first. Might not hurt to go sit on the place. See if he shows. This better be the last stop of the night, Kurt, old buddy. I swear, it's here, fellas. I just got a little mixed up, is all. Well, you better get unmixed real quick. Because this is going to be the final stop of the night, if you get me. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's just right here. Kurt's making a run for it. Throw the pigeon award off my tail. Gotcha. This ain't fucking fair. I think he gonna oh, shoot shit. someone. To grab some cover. Motherfucker got this. Oh my god, who's own. yelling? Look there! Did somebody just get hurt? That's a nice beast you got there. to the French ward. I'm Marshall. I got Mancini. Sleeping like a baby. Well, place the blessed bundle in a trunk and get him on back here. Superlative work, Mr. Clay. Got a car here for you. Loading. Appreciate it. Not like the little bit. Oh, my lord is a dime on his ass. Guess I best see what that is.
Come on in. I've got more work for you. How's Mancini settling in? <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker. You know he wanted to tell me about a surefire way to make extra money from my own home? Well, I gave him a taste of the cattle prod, and that was the end of that. Anyway, I've got one more for you. Brian Patrick O'Malley. Name rings a bell. Old school Irish mob out of Baton Rouge. Had to split when the Fed started closing in. Word is O'Malley plans to line his pockets here in New Bordeaux before heading down to Mexico. <sighs> Last thing I need is more pissed off Irish trying to get a piece of this city. That's my thinking exactly. Little Bird tells me O'Malley's gone to ground in the bayou. You might want to get him before he starts making his move. Imagine you need him alive like the others. Well, there's no money in a dead man now, is there? Besides, he's one of five brothers, all of them big shots up in Baton Rouge. And you certainly don't need that extra layer of hell descending on you. Mm -hmm. The dart it is. O'Malley's got muscle with him, so watch your butt. says you can help me get this bread of mine to a safe place. Sure can, honey, and a friend of Vito's is a friend of mine. Be there like a split. Your money's always safer with me, Going Shane. straight to the bank. Got O'Malley. Perfect. Now get the hell out of there. You're a man who gets shit done. Hey, thanks for bringing O'Malley in. It's funny now that he's in the hands of the feds, I don't imagine his brothers have much use for him anymore. They're probably making plans as we speak. That's pretty fucking cold, Marshal. Well, the way I see it is this whole job is pain reduction. 
Let an asshole like O'Malley run rough over New Bordeaux or let his brothers deal with him behind bars. You and me both know how the world works. Spoken like a true spook. What do you want me to say? You gotta do a little fucked up shit to stop the big fucked up shit from happening. And we bury any bodies along the way. Don't turn into a melancholy mother on me. Come on, you did some good. That kid Duplass? I was able to talk to a buddy in the DA's office. He's getting out, and he swears he won't show his dick in public again. Will wonders never cease? <laughs> yeah, small wonders. But thanks for your help, Lincoln. Be seeing you, Marshal. You cut those three like a bad case. Good job is what I'm saying. <laughs>